Say, chum, which one do you fancy? Pyra or Mithra? Uh, Zeke. You can't just ask someone... Anyway, they're the same person. I've never really thought of them separately. Are you serious? But they're like totally different characters. Like Mithra is jolly intense. And Pyra is just totally mellow or, I don't know, what's the opposite of pushy? On the outside, maybe. But Pyra's got a lot of backbone, too. She can be pretty stubborn. You seem to understand them pretty deeply. Well, I suppose you are their driver. Hey. Yeah? You're a prince from Tantal, aren't you, Zeke? Why were you in the Praetorium? I mean, you can't just ask someone. Oh, his old man kicked him out. Oi! No, bad blade, bad. How long have you been standing there? From about... Which one do you fancy? Which one do you fa... That's the whole conversation. As I was saying, my prince got disowned by his father. He spent all his time traveling the world for fun, instead of attending to his studies. Then, bye! It wasn't for fun. I was learning all about, uh, society and international relations. <laughs> international relations? That what you call it? Oi, can it, you? What are you doing anyway? Dissing your own driver. <laughs> you guys crack me up. I love him, really. Oh. Anyway, he sounds tough. Zeke's dad, I mean. Tantal is an isolationist society. Crossing its borders without leave is strictly forbidden. It's been that way for ages now. Oh, hmm. But you've seen how my prince here is. Couldn't stop himself leaving a few times, so he got chewed out and disowned. Back when he was 15 or something? Yeah, something like that. Then the Praetor himself found him half dead on the ground one day and took him in. He made up that special envoy stuff. And that's how you ended up in Indol. It all makes sense now. Oh, but wait. Is it safe for you to go back to Tantar then? This time, we've got official business from the Praetorium. It'll be fine, probably. Besides... Yeah? Tantal is too ignorant of the outside world. It needs a wake-up call. Sire, we have reached the designated coordinates. Please. Right! Ready? You betcha! Huh? Shut up and sit down, chum. This'll be great! My lord, Genbu has begun surfacing. I am aware. It's Pandoria. Then the prince... Yes. We have received reports that he made contact with the Aegis in Indol. So after 500 years, he makes his move. Praetor Amalthus. My lord? We must act to protect our days of peace, even if they are a dream that cannot last. It's just like a bigger version of Tutus. It's called Genbu. It's the same, like, Titan type as Uriah. Normally, it's submerged in the Cloud Sea. 
even in early fall, it can get pretty cold inside Tantal. Mind you don't freeze! <sighs> I really can't stand the cold. I can provide my own warmth. You can stay close to me if you like. Me as well. You guys are pretty handy to have around. Well, it is our trademark, right? Essentially. Aren't you going to be cold like that, Shalad? I'm used to it. I'll be dandy. He's naturally dense. It's good insulation. Oh, oh makes, makes sense. sense. Stop encouraging her, gang of bullies!
My name is Godfrey. Whoa! The hammer of justice packs a mean punch! Hey, Nia, do you, um, mind? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. You're just so warm. I can't help it. It's a function of what's known as infrared radiation. Gramps knows everything. I'm not your personal heater, you know? Um, my lady. If you desire warmth, why not take some from me? Miss Pyra seems to be in some distress. No way. Your fur is all stiff and spiky with a cold. It'd be murder on my sensitive skin. But, my lady. Hey, is it just me, or are the ether lines really dim? What is meaning of ether lines? You know, those things. The glowing threads that run inside a titan. That is the glow of pure ether coursing through the titan's body. You can compare it to the bloodstream of a human. You've got good eyes. Genbu has pretty bad circulation compared to other titans. They say it's why we have a cold climate and awful crops. So it's... cold-blooded? <laughs> Call it what you like. 